number two. Underway, under breaststroke, multi-class, and it's a very good start, in fact, for uh, Blake Cochran. He's come up very nicely. Inside in lane four, though, as you'd expect, Michelle is out in front. Next to him, trying to go with him, is Rick Pendleton. Yes, Jake Michelle had a flying start, but that is to be expected. He's an S14 athlete, an athlete with an intellectual disability. Flanking him, Rick Pendleton. Rick Pendleton has a limb deficiency on one of his hands as well, but going very nicely down the centre of the lane, down to touch. We remember that the athletes in this race are competing against their individual classifications world record to try and put themselves in strong contention for this Tokyo team. It's very, very competitive, especially amongst the men at the moment. But we can see here with the qualifying lines, a number of athletes ahead of them. Blake Cochran up there on the top of the screen, well ahead of his qualification line at the moment. Great, Michelle's a mile in front. Looks fantastic, terrific form in that breaststroke. Next to him, Diskin's also in front of his. A couple of the others are beginning to drop off. Blake Cochran, as you said, is going to qualify by a country mile. But hanging on here, Kenny. Diskin, maybe he won't. It might just beat into the wall. It does. Unlucky. But here comes Blake Cochran. Can he do the time he was hoping for? He's going to qualify, I tell you that. And we're hoping Matt Levy here, the qualifying line is catching him. But can he hold on? This is his best chance to qualify. I think he's just missed the time Matt Levy 123.57 it's so heartbreaking to see when that happens but here's Blake Cochran he had a fantastic swim let's look at his time 117.26 he bettered his time from this morning but not quite under the 117 he was hoping for maybe in a few weeks time in Tokyo and unfortunately in lane eight in lane one rather Joel Mundy's not going to qualify um, but Kelly is already, you would think, in the frame to, to go to Tokyo. He's already posted a, a couple of qualifying times. You would think he'll be going. Doesn't qualify here tonight, though. Yes, but some of the times here are very competitive. Ahmed Kelly's qualifying time was 146.72, and he's posted a 156, so not made a qualifying time here. But as we said, he did post a qualifying time in the 150 individual medley earlier in the week. Once selected, it's about quota places. The country has to win a, a bed in the village, and you, then you get the, the, the right to fill that bed, and you fill that how, how you select your team. Once there, though, if you've qualified in one race, of course you can swim in the others. That's exactly right. So we'll expect to see some of the athletes. Perhaps Ahmed will, if he's selected, will swim in this event come Tokyo. Also, of course, there are medley. Uh, in um, relay medleys and so we field people and we, we might have different people swimming in the heat versus the final to rest people depending on their program but here we are watching the final stages of this race jake michelle had a beautiful clean very smooth stroke and finished well ahead of his qualifying time he was very I, happy with that 10435 i'll tell you what else he's done and i've, I've only just looked at the records here because there are so many different records that we're talking about but 10613 is his Australian record, and he's just swum oh, wow. 104.35. Oh, so he smashed it. It's a big PB, and it's also an Australian record, and he's down full deck with G. Unbelievable. Jake, congratulations. Talk about posting a qualifying time. You were pulling away from the qualifying timeline, and, in fact, you've smashed your own Australian record. Well done. Thank you. I, uh, I don't know how it happened. Like, I just sunk in, actually. Like, it's gone, everything's gone so quickly, but uh, I'm just so happy, uh, <laughs> speechless. Is it because it's qualification for the Paralympic Games? Everyone wants to perform yeah. here, don't you? Well, I think it's like the pressure under it all. We all want to make the team, but uh, some struggling, some are doing well. And like, honestly, just the hard work, you know? You, you have your, uh, your moments of like, not swimming that well. I uh, last like for 12 months last year, I, struggled a bit before Worlds, um, but yeah, come back. You have certainly come back. Congratulations on a sensational swim Thank tonight. You. Well done. It. Over to you, Blake. Also a fantastic swim under qualifying time, but I did hear you wanted to try and sneak under that 117 mark. You just missed it. Yeah, I've only ever done that once in my career way back in 2015. And I mean, the body's feeling pretty fresh and I was hoping for a pretty good time. So I was going for that 16 tonight and uh, I think I lost it in the final two metres, a bit long on the touch. But I mean, fuel in the tank and save that one for Tokyo. Exactly right, because it's just about qualifying and you've done that. You posted a qualifying time. I want to ask you, you're a dad. 
How does that change everything when you're out here swimming for yourself? Are you thinking about, I'm doing this for the kids as well? <sighs> I mean, one of the great things about being an athlete and what we get to do is we get to go, uh, go to school talks, we get to engage in community. I mean, these guys give so much to us as athletes. Um, so thank you very much for that, guys. But being an athlete is... <laughs> No, thank you. Um, being an athlete is such a selfish job. Um, and I mean, we spend so many time, so much time do, putting in the hours in the pool and, and dedication to the task at hand. And I mean, I wouldn't be able to do it without the supportive team I got behind me. And I mean, the number one person in that team is uh, definitely my wife. And I mean, she's puts in a lot of time and effort with our young son, 18 months, years, uh, 18 months old. And I mean, she puts him to bed four nights a week when I'm at work. And I, I would not be able to be where I am today without her. Well, they're all very, very proud of you tonight. Well done to both of you, both uh, posting you. qualifying times on the way to the Paralympics in Tokyo. Yeah, fantastic. And it has been made 